So welcome to our bee harvest today. Uh, we are about to uh, harvest this top box right here. And uh, we started yesterday by putting the bee escape board on, which is this board uh, right here. And that will cause the bees to want to evacuate the top part of the hive. Um, we're gonna crack it open this morning and see how successful we were in uh, getting the bees to uh, get out of our space so that we can harvest their honey uh, and steal from them. So first impression I have is that there are very few bees in the top uh, cover. Um, there's probably six or seven of them walking around. Probably means that the uh, evacuation of the box was not as successful as I'd like it to be, but that's not the worst thing in the world. So looking at it on first glance, there's probably 40 or 50 bees in here. Uh, best guess, but um, last night there were thousands of bees in here. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to uh, pull out a frame and we're going to take a look at it and probably harvest the outermost frame uh, and most of the frames, but we'll do a quick little inspection to uh, see what we've got and uh, keep, our, uh, keep our girls moving away. This one is pretty heavy. And as you can see, it is almost fully capped uh, with honey uh, on one side and on the other side. So we will set it on the outer uh, stand and we'll move to the inside a bit more. And yesterday uh, when I was doing this and just inspecting them prior to harvest, there were thousands upon thousands of bees in here. So this one uh, is partly capped, but I'm thinking it's not capped enough that I want to harvest it. So what I'm going to do is set it aside in this box over here, and I'm going to put it back in the other honey super that we already have on top uh, underneath uh, this first box. And so that is one that we will give them back to keep working on. And again, there are still very few bees in here compared to yesterday, so brushing them off and getting them moving elsewhere won't be a big deal. Um, this one is about 80% capped, so I think we're going to take it and uh, run with it. And it looks like we have uh, 22 girls that did not make it. So that one is definitely one that we are going to take. Next frame over is looking pretty good, and it looks like we're going to take it too. We'll see what the other side of it looks like. So it's pretty amazing how effective the uh, the board was in getting all the bees to leave. Um, there are very few bees left in here. So yeah, there's another one that is almost fully capped. Um, we are going to take it as well. The next frame over, it's pretty obvious. You can see that um, they had just started in on it and there's not a whole lot that's happening with it. So we will definitely put it back in uh, the lower box uh, once we're completed and finished for them to keep building it out. Um, more so than it was last week, but not nearly as full. Um, The next frame over is pretty well capped out. Um, debating whether to give it back to them or not, but we'll see. See what the next two look like. So this one's pretty heavy. Um, it is probably about half capped. So I'm thinking we're not gonna take that one off. We're gonna give that back to them. So I think we may only end up harvesting four frames. But the last frame over, um, is almost fully capped and we are definitely going to take that one. So I'm going to put these back in here and this is what we're going to take off and then we will take them over and we will uh, do our best to, uh, get the bees off of it. So let's see, do I really want to take this guy or not? Man? 
See? Yeah, I think we can wait on him. He's really fully capped on one side, but not so much on the other side. So we're going to leave him behind. So now I will put these three frames back in after uh, brushing off a few bees. I think there's a few girls that were on the verge of death that um, did not actually uh, make it out of the super. Um, since, of course, they all live a fairly short life. And the last one has got just one or two on it, so we'll brush them off. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this box and we're going to take it over to... Yeah, I know. I haven't gotten to it yet. There's a bunch of bees in this in the box as it stands right now, so... All right, so now what we'll do is we'll lift this box off of the escape board. And we're gonna carry it over. And then we'll deal with what bees are left. There's probably no more than 20 or, 10 or 20, 30 bees in here, but We'll get rid of them in a few minutes with some smoke and some brush. Now the next part, we're gonna take the bee escape off. We're gonna see who all is hiding under. So you can see there's a whole lot of bees on the bottom of the escape board that were uh, not real happy about getting kicked out of their honey super. So we're gonna knock those in to the hive get everybody a little agitated this morning but that's okay so we'll take a quick look at what's in the current new box so there's no real activity going on yet so we'll shake them off we're gonna toss this frame out of the way and i have four frames to fill in so we are simply going to uh, take uh, four frames out of here, fill four frames in, and let the bees keep doing their work. As they get agitated with me this morning. They haven't started doing any chaining on this next hot, super, so um, really not losing anything by taking four empty frames out. And what we'll do once we take everything out and put all these other frames back in is we will just leave everything sitting around for the bees to sort out where they belong, who's going where, what they're doing, all that fun stuff. So now we will take these frames, put them back in. And everybody will continue on about their merry way. Take this one and move it to the outside a bit. All right, I have seven frames in, so we'll put that guy, sorry little girl, right here. All right, so we have all of our frames where we want them. We'll take this one frame and we'll move it out a notch. They 
have already glued some stuff together, but not any uh, comb creation yet. So now we'll simply reset the B space for them. Make sure that we have proper spacing on everything, which they like and won't screw up uh, their frame building and comb building. All right, that looks about right. Looks to be about the right amount of space between each frame. So now what we'll do is we will take our cover and we will put our cover back on and we will move on to the next phase. All right, so the escape board's gone. I have one, two, three, four extra frames, which matches what I put in. So we're done with this piece. And now we move on. So now we need to uh, get a few of the remaining bees moved off of what we intend to harvest. Hopefully there's only 15 or 20 bees in there, but we'll see. So first frame, just a few dead girls. All right, that one is good. So we'll put that down in there. Get her out of there. Next frame over is clean. Seems like the further you get them away from the hive, the more willing they are to uh, walk away from uh, what we're stealing. All right, so we have a few, one left over. And just a few that uh, had already passed. So at this point, we're going to close this up so that they can't uh, easily they can't get back in. And we are done. All right, Bubba, you can turn that off. <laughs> 